everyone, I'm Adia the Chimsum. So today, I want to teach us how to cut eight pieces skirt. Yes, eight pieces skirt, and it's going to beginners friendly. Very, very simple to do. So I'll be using um, three yards of material. This is three yards of material. I folded it to two equally, and then folded it again. So it's four now. Four equal parts. Okay. Yeah, and this is three yards. Remember, I said this is three yards of material. And I have my measuring tape, ruler, chalk, and scissors. So, in this, in this tutorial, we'll be using the uh, measurements. Our measurements is um, I have the round waist at 32 inches, the hip 42 inches, and the round knee, uh, the round knee, I'll be using 38. Then, our um, hip points that's from here the waistline to the hip to the hip points we'll be using 11 inches and then for the knee length we'll be using 20 inches let's start and so you understand what i'm trying to do. let's get started i told you this i'll be using here at my waistline and then let me mark the knee points and the round and the knee points I'll be using this whole um, Anakara fabric, the whole length is 45, so we'll be using the whole length for, 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 for the client, okay? Here, we have 11 inches as the hip point, 11 inches. Here, we have what? 20 inches, 20 inches. I'll use my ruler so you can see it. Can you see that? And this is the hip point. Okay. This is the knee length. Sorry, the knee length. So remember, I said now we don't need the measurements of the person we are making the clothes for. I said the round is thirty-two and the hip is forty-two. For now, I want us. Look, it, it, it is eight pieces. Okay. We have four pieces in the front and four at the back. In the back, you're going to put the zip there at the back, okay? So, four in front and four at the back. Now, I want to make the two centers. That is going to be the two centers here for the front and the two center for the back. We call it center front and center back. Two center front and two center back. That's what you're about to do. After this, the next piece here, you're going to get the side. The two sides front and the two sides back, okay? So now here I'm going to be taking I'm going to be taking a measure uh, like three inches here. This three inches is not really standard. We can do this for um you can use this for a little child like um 14 years. No, you can make you can make this um maybe two inches or two and a half. Okay, but for someone who has a hip of 42, 44, please, and you're using three gears, just use three inches here for the waist. You mark it three inches for the hip and three and a half inches for the knee length. Then you trace this line downwards. You trace it. Why I use three and a half here is this is the knee. So we are trying to make the knee. The knee doesn't have to be very it has to be tight to give it that shape down here, okay. So we connect it like so. Remember here is three, three and a half inches. And then from this from this um, um knee length, we now trace it down to the length of our skirts. Okay, so my ruler is not so long, but we're using it like that. Yeah, this is it. So now I told you guys we'll be using here the side, this side for the two, the four sides, one, two, three, and four. Okay. So here I'll be taking that same three inches here on the waistline for the side, and another three inches again here, and then three and a half inches, three and a half inches. 
one two three and half what inches okay then when you do that we now slant it down we trace this line and then slant it down So this is it guys. So now it's time to get the proper waist measurement, hip measurement and the round knee measurement and then we slant it. So from this line now, our hip measure our waist measurement is um 32 inches and 32 divided by 4 is 8 into 2 is 16 into 4 into uh, 16 into 2 is 8 just mark that 8 inches don't bother about the allowance trust me this is going to be enough okay so on the hip measurement we have 42 42 divided by 42 divided by 4 is 10 and a half here is our 10 and a half as you can see i don't have much allowance again this is because I purposely slanted my center very well because I know that my measurement is still going to enter. But if you know that the hip of your client is more than 42, it's like 47, 48, please do not slant it so much. It is still going to fit. So far, you're using three years of material. So this is um, 10 and a half here, right? 42 into 2 is 21. 21 into 2 again is 10 and a half. And for our round knee, we will be taking, let's use 9 inches because we want it to give a very good fit here in the knee. So from here, we trace the line and give it a good shape. Like so. Can you see that? This is the hip, the waist, and the round knee. So from here, so from here, the round knee, we do what is slant it down again because we are trying to use this whole three yards, okay? So we slant it like so. Can you see that? Can you see that, guys? I think it's not well slanted, so. Even if you don't know how to, if you if you are good in free hand, you can use your free hand. But I'm making use of this ruler, okay? This is it. So guys, this is the center front, and this is the center day. This is center front and back, and this is the two sides, okay? Like I said, three inches, three inches, three and a half, because we want it to be tight in the knee side. And then we slanted it. We took five, five and a half inches here, five and a half inches, and five inches on the round knee, and, and gave it a slant. And I told you that I have to extend this my slant because I know that my client has the hip of forty-two inches. Why? Because I know that when I do this, I'm still going to get enough. It's still going to be enough for me to get the hip measurement. And I didn't put allowance because, trust me, you don't need an allowance here is enough this is three this is three years of material when you join this four and this four again it's going to have you will have enough allowance even after putting your lining okay so thank you guys for watching if you find this video helpful please like it share and subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you